Hi, I'm Javier Reyes Gomez and today we are going to discuss the challenges of video compression appears view and how we solve them from one of our customers. The broadcast industry today meets several challenges when it comes to video distribution and therefore video compression. Starting by the increase of the number of TV channels that wants to be offered, moving into the increase in the resolution from standard definition to high definition, full HD and now Ultra HD or 4K. A higher resolution implies higher bit rates. Therefore, there is a new need for new standards that provides a better video uh, compression efficiency, moving from H.264 to HAVC and other newer standards. At the same time, we have similar needs for different purposes in our video compression platforms, moving from mezzanine to broadcast and also to OTT applications. Moreover, there is also the need for uh, supporting different sources in different formats. Uh, that moves from uh, HD SDI, 3G SDI and now 4K 12G SDI feeds to receiving content already encoded in MPEG transfer stream and to receive sources in the newest standards and compressed over uh, IP ST2022-6 and 2110. At the same time, there is also uh, the need for new ways of delivery after encoding, from uh, a transport stream over IP to now delivery also over the internet, contributing content over the internet with SRT, 6 or RIST. It is definitely a very important challenge to solve the need for a high availability of the video compression solutions. That means that uh, uh, the solutions have to solve redundancy in the best way possible. And last but not least, the envi environmental uh, problem is something very relevant today when choosing a video compression solution. So having something that is space and energy efficient is a key to have a better, a better solution. Let's have a look at the following two cases at New Day in Denmark. One of them is an OTT encoding system, while number two is for mezzanine encoding. There are some specific requirements looking at each of the cases. If we look at the uh, uh, OTT encoding, we have 14 HD channels with a multi-profile encoding in ABC of six profiles having the highest at 720p50. And with the need of different audio profiles for each of the videos. For number two, mezzanine encoding, we have a higher number of channels up to 39 with 14 HD and 15 SD. And the encoding will be also ABC, but it is a mezzanine or constant bitrate one profile encoding. In this case, the requirements is the, the key requirements is the high video quality at a low bit rate. However, we find a lot of common uh, requirements between these two uh, cases. The need for an up upgrade path to HEVC and UHD to be a future-proof solution. The need of receiving the content in SDI. And the need for a full one plus one redundancy self-managed um, in the same platform, as well as of course, the highest density and the lower, lowest pro power consumption. Now, let's have a look at why Appear solved their challenges and therefore it was the immediate choice for New Day. Starting by the fantastic previous experience that the New Day had with Appear's XC5000 platform. A key uh, reason to choose Appear was definitely the higher density and lower power consumption. If we look at the images uh, um, in this uh, slide, we can see that the save in rack space and power consumption was remarkable for both cases, for OTT and mezzanine. So that means that choosing a peer was choosing a greener footprint. Additionally, we were uh, offering uh, an integrated and self-managed full one plus one solution all in one, just one box, while keeping a future-proof uh, supporting HVC, Ultra HD and HDR and offering a simple to manage and monitor solution where all the encoders are managed in the same box and still being a scalable solution going from being able to go from SD to HD with the same density or even adding more channels in high definition or even in ultra high definition. Let's spend some time explaining how we actually solve these challenges and therefore offer the best option to our customers like New Day. A peers encoding solution is based on the X platform. The X platform comes in two form factors, the X10 
one rack unit and the X22RU. Both of them have two slots reserved in the front for the special switch control and IP input output module. Uh, and in the back, we have six slots for the X10, 12 slots for the X20. This platform is a, a modular solution. So all modules that are placed in the front and in the back can be hot swapped. At the same time, there is a high capacity IP backplane that enables for connectivity and uh, full duplex 10 gigabit input output between all the modules. Finally, this solution also offers a dual active active bank backplane, uh, providing an implicit hardware redundancy. In order to provide IP connectivity, we have the mandatory switch and control modules in the front. Here in the picture, we can see the options for X10 and X20. This module, besides switch and backplane and control management, provides dual 10 gig full duplex IP input output connectivity to send and or receive content through the unit. Additionally, we have the optional dual IP IO module to be placed in the back. This module provides extra connectivity and extra capacity to the, to the box, as well as it offers an option to contribute, send or receive content over the internet uh, using the standards SRT or SEXI. In this case, in this mode, we will have a capacity or a throughput of up to 200 megabits per second. In the case the sources are delivered in uncompressed video over IP in 2022-6 or 2110, then we have the option of the ECX210. This is the same compression module, just with an IP front with QSFP connectors. In this case, we can deliver, uh, we can receive the content in uncompressed directly uh, over the IP uh, interfaces and then deliver the content back to the backplane encoded, compressed in AVC and HEVC. The density for all these modules uh, is up to two Ultra HD or eight Full HD per slot. This density per module leads to the following maximum capacities per 2RU X20 boxes. If we chose for a no single point of failure with the switch control and IP input output in full one plus one, then we could fit up to 12 encoding slots in the back. That means up to 96 HD on, or 24 Ultra HD in just two rack units. However, if we chose to go for a real full one plus one in just one X20, we could fit half of the modules for the main and half of the modules for the backup meaning a total of 48 HD encoders or 12 4K Ultra HD encoders per X20 box. In the case of encoding from SDI inputs, the SDI sources must be rerouted to the spare externally. For this case, we will manage automatically the third-party SDI router that is required to do this. Let's do a summary of our learnings from this presentation. A peer solves all the challenges of video compression presented at the beginning of this presentation, as it has done for New Day in Denmark, offering an encoding solution in the X platform that provides safe in space and energy, meaning that you can go greener, providing a high video quality, while it is a future-proof solution where you can adopt all the newest standards. Additionally, the X platform is a very flexible solution that provides uh, video encoding for mezzanine, broadcast and OTT, having a very simple operation as well as providing scalability and integrated redundancy. Thank you for watching and if you would like to have further information, please contact us at info at